Hello guys, welcome to DM's Brief Beauties. Today we're drinking the Flying Dogs Raging Bitch Belgian style India Pale Ale. 8.3% ABV, quite big. Uh, 60 IBUs. This is from the Flying Dog Brewery from Frederick, Maryland, and I think it's my second beer from them. The first one was uh, the Gons Imperial Porter, which was probably two years ago. It's quite a while. And um, it's quite a notorious beer if you take a look at the label, uh, it's quite explicit. And uh, I think it was banned in a few states in America as well. But uh, let's take a look at the beer. I was actually planning to do a full review, but I uh, changed my mind. It's a nice kind of um, dark orange or medium copper color to the body you get, and a very nice kind of fluffy white head. Quite good head retention. And the nose. And that's quite nice. I'm getting. Um, Definitely some flowery notes, a uh, bit of citrus, slight kind of Belgian spicy note, I guess, from the yeast, and uh, quite smells quite hoppy overall, which is a good thing. Bit of caramel too, let's taste it. Mmm, that's nice. It's better than I expected because I've heard some really mixed reviews. Some people bash this beer, some people say it was awesome. But this is really good, considering I bought it like two months ago. It's still very hoppy, I'm definitely bitter enough, but not too bitter. I'm definitely getting some kind of more American style citrus notes, but all the while it's still very flowery and uh, quite sweet. I'm not tasting alcohol, maybe just a little bit of heat at the back there. But all in all, this is really impressive. I actually didn't expect that much. Uh, it was only two dollars. I got a single. Yeah, this one's good, despite the notorious label and everything. They've actually done a great job. I think um, after having that bad bottle of um, the the Belgian pale ale from Le Chouf, um this is really really good. I mean, I'm getting a huge hot bite. Also, some maltiness. It's fairly well balanced, and um, it has a a nice Belgian touch to it. Wouldn't call it too intense that part of it, but it's still um, different from your kind of quintessential stereotypical American IPA. So I will actually give this a nine out of ten. This is really good, really impressive beer, and uh, not boozy, not too thick, not too light. Um, just excellent. It leaves a nice kind of citrus note in the back. Yeah, I would recommend this beer quite highly and I actually didn't expect it to uh, surpass my expectations that's that's one thing for certain alright guys that's all I've got to say for this time around uh, check it out if you can we're the raging bitch from flying dog and I'll see you next time bye six good beer